and welcome to Splotch Code. In this mini lesson, I'm going to show you something quirky that it's worth you knowing about when you're trying to change the direction that your sprite is facing. So you'll see right now I have my cat selected and he's facing towards the right. And that we can see down here in the direction that is 90. So 90 is when he's facing to the right. If I click into the direction area, you'll see a little clock face turns up. And that allows us to start to move him. Now you would think if you got it moved him around, we'll be able to have him face in the other direction. But let's have a look what happens when we do that. We move him all the way around and he ends up facing upside down. And I'm guessing that's probably not what you were after. So let's take him back to 90, which we can also do just by typing it in. And he's back to 90. So how do we get him to move so he's facing the left direction without being upside down. Well, there's a little trick we need to do there. If we go to the motion area, down towards the bottom a little bit, there's a block here that says set rotation style. And what we find is when you start a scratch project, the default it's set to is all around, which means he turns and flips upside down as we turn him. What we want for the type of rotation we're wanting, where he just turns and he's facing left, is we want it to be left and right. So anytime we tell him to turn, it's moving just left and right. So we need to do that. Now, obviously, to do that, we need to start our action. So what we'll do is we'll put a when green flag is clicked, set our rotation to be left and right. So if I click the green flag now, and now if we go down here and we turn him, Look what happens. Now he's facing to the left, which I'm sure is much more likely what you're wanting to do. Excellent. So you keep in mind that set rotation because by default, when you start, it will usually be set for all around. So you may have to set that at the start of your game to tell it that that's what you want it to do. Now the same thing happens if we're looking at moving the direction using our code rather than use just moving him around manually. So let's have a look at our dog. And we'll see here that we've created some code for our dog that says when the sprite is clicked, he's going to point in the 90 degrees, which is where he's facing right now. He's going to move 30 steps. He's going to wait. He's going to turn and go minus 90 and move 30 steps. So let's click on him and see what happens. And you see again that he's upside down, not what we wanted. So once again, we need to use that set rotation code. So if I just pull this away, go to my motion, go back down, find my set rotation style. And if I pop that in there first, what will happen now? I'm just, I'm just going to take him back, back to his nine, starting spot of 90. So he's facing that way. Okay. So now when I click on him, he's going to walk and he's going to turn that way. So whether you're doing it manually by using the direction down here or whether you're doing it by getting them to turn in your code, you will probably need to use the set rotation style to be left or right if you're wanting to get your character to just move and change direction that way. Thanks for watching Splotch Code.